Good morning. This morning we'll talk about the difference between biogenic and thermogenic natural gas. I grew up in the Netherlands, which is basically a swamp on a river delta. Swamps have lots of organic materials that decompose into light hydrocarbons and natural gas. Natural gas is present in a lot of places, a lot more places than you realize, including here, in pristine Colorado mountain wetlands. Natural gas is natural. As a fracker, I am passionate about bringing cheap and abundant energy to everyone in the world. But fracking has received a bad rap from the movie Gasland through the display of gas burning from a faucet. The origin of that faucet gas was not from deep layers that produce natural gas from fracking. No, the origin was a shallow aquifer with gas trapped in the same way as it is trapped everywhere in these wetlands. Gas simply came up with the water in this shallow, potable water well. There are two main sources of natural gas. First of all, biogenic. Natural gas originated from the decomposition of cellulose from trees and plants by microorganisms. This is a complex process, but ultimately creates methane in our everyday environment and at depths up to about 3000 feet. Second source is thermogenic. Natural gas originated from vast quantities of mostly plankton, which was buried under many geologic layers and slowly cooked for millions of years in Mother Nature's pressure cooker to turn into oil and gas. This process requires high pressure and temperatures that exists at depths around 10,000 feet. The presence of organic decay into light hydrocarbons by microorganisms is often visible through a colorful oily film on water and lots of bubbles. This colorful film is not from contamination by humans. It is put there by Mother Nature herself. To prove biogenic gas is produced here, I am catching bubbles in the soil in this funnel. When I stir the soil right here, stir the soil with this key pole, biogenic natural gas trapped in the soil bubbles up through the water. The funnel catches the gas and displaces the water in the funnel. And then to prove it's methane, I can actually ignite it. I used to work for a company, Pinnacle Technologies, that was in the business of measuring orientation and dimensions of hydraulic fractures in real time. In these graphs constructed by this company, you can see how hundreds of measured hydraulic fractures pumped in Colorado and the northeastern U.S. remain separated from shallow water wells by thousands of feet of rock. In a separate study at Colorado State University, scientists have reported that there is no evidence of water-based contaminants seeping into drinking water wells atop a vast oil and gas field in northeastern Colorado. The sad cost of a Gasland movie is that policies influenced by it deprive poorer people access to clean and cheap natural gas. For two to three billion people of this world, this delays access to clean cooking. Use of wood, dung and sticks causes millions of people to die every year from indoor air pollution. Which cooking fuel do you think people prefer? Apart from an occasional campfire, that's probably the same as your own preference. Now, some may find it convenient to confuse the two, but biogenic and thermogenic natural gas have different origins. Both, however, are 100% natural and are here to stay. Because natural gas and fossil fuels enable almost all aspects of modern life. Because natural gas is the desired cooking fuel for people in developing countries because natural gas is clean and reduces greenhouse, ga greenhouse gas emissions, and because natural gas ensures cheap electricity and backs up unreliable renewables. For more information, visit us at libertyfrac.com. This was Lane at Liberty. Thank you for watching.